the Paul Leslie Interviews. Ladies and gentlemen, it's our pleasure to welcome our special guest, Gregoire Marais. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Who is Gregoire Marais? Just a simple musician who is just trying to come with the most beautiful and authentic music. You know, that's how I would describe myself. What was life like growing up? It was beautiful. I mean, I grew up in Switzerland, in Geneva, and kind of outside of Geneva, a little bit on the countryside. So it was beautiful nature, a lot of stuff that inspired me later on to to write music. I would say. Plus, I had a, a father that was a musician, so it was. Uh, I learned a lot growing up, and uh, I just had a beautiful time. And it was just a perfect upbringing to be able to express certain things in music later on. I would say. How did you come to play music? Well, as I said, I'm I'm coming from a, a musical background. My music, my father being a musician, everybody in the family being music lovers. My brother is a musician as well. And then I started rather late the harmonica. I started when I was 17 years old, and um, I changed my major in high school to a music major at the time. I just it was it became my new passion. Once that happened, there was just no going back into anything else but playing music, basically. And I just went forward, moved to New York when I was 19, and went to the new school and continued like that. What is it you like about the harmonica? I love the quality it has. I think it's very, very close to the voice in terms of the expression and the range it has. And I think it's very, very special. And also, I feel really excited to be playing this instrument because it's an instrument that was not played by a lot of people exploring. I'm, I'm talking about jazz in particular, or like more popular form of music like pop or R&B. You have, obviously, TV Wonder and Toots Tillman. But after that, there's not that many people who really went and explored that instrument. So it's a lot of... There's a lot of music that still could be covered and can ex be explored with this instrument that would be kind of new. And that's basically what I got exposed to rather early in my career since I, when I played with Steve Coleman, for instance, I just was in a situation that was never really um, basically explored with the harmonica. I had to come up with something new on the instrument, and that was something quite exciting. And it kept on happening to me as I, I started playing with different people. So that's something that I really love about this instrument. Plus the fact that it has something really, it's a very rich sort of a sound that is, it can remind people of the voice, but has something also different than any other instrument, uh, wind instrument, I would say. What harmonica players influenced you the most? Well, probably the most would be Stevie Wonder and Toots Tillman. And then I would talk about a few blues players like Sonny Boy Williamson and James Cotton and Junior Wells. Those are the main people in terms of the instrument, the harmonica. But then I think I would be, I would have to to also mention certain other musicians that don't play the, the harmonica but influence me just as much as maybe even more, like Herbie Hancock and Miles Davis and Coltrane, and people like that, Wayne Shorter. Our special guest is Gregoire Marais. I wanted to talk about your album, your self-titled release. Do you have a favorite song from the album? No, I like different songs for different things, you know. One of the songs that comes to mind right now, obviously, is, is the duet with Toots Tillman's because it was real special to have the, the chance to be able to do that with him. He accepted the invitation, and then the fact also to have the whole orchestra to be present to be this piece was to play this piece was really quite special. So that's one of the highlights, I would say, of the record. Another one to me is also the the sweet Crepuscule with Marcus Miller on it because it really kind of explore a whole world like it, it just makes you travel in places that I've just haven't traveled that that much or that many times before so I, I find it to be kind of exciting. What was it like to perform with Marcus Miller? It was beautiful. I mean, I've had the chance to play a little bit of funk before, and uh, specifically, I would say, with, especially with Michel and Legueo Cello and Federico González Peña, who's also producing part of the record, was part of her band, and he kind of introduced me to her, and she invited me to come and perform with her. So that was the first time I really got to play some real funky stuff, and that was real special. And then after that, I either play more some pop or really jazz music, and... Playing with 
Marcus was the the second chance I had to really go into some really funky, funky uh, stuff. And I learned a lot because it's a totally different way of of feeling the rhythm. It's just completely different. And you got to, that's what I'm saying. It's like when I, I was just mentioning the fact that I do have the chance to play different music that haven't been really explored and being expressed or, or played on the harmonica before. That's another example where, like, except for Stevie Wonder, who can be real funky, there's not that many people who was who were to play the harmonica in a funky kind of way. So it was just another thing that I really had to work on really hard and open my ears and be able to to be totally open-minded into learning this this music and the feel of it and all that stuff. And it was just a beautiful experience for me. Our special guest is Gregoire Marais. There's another song on the album, The Man I Love. Tell us about that one. I wrote the, the, the arrangement for The Man I Love a long time ago when I was still actually in college at the new school studying. And I envisioned Cassandra Wilson singing it, but that was way before I, I, I got to play with her. And I had this whole arrangement ready, and I never did anything with it. I think I recorded it as, as a demo before, just for me. And it didn't go any further than that until the day I decided to do this record, to make this record, and I um, I, I thought I needed to, to have this song on it. And I asked Kasano if she would be willing to sing it, and she accepted. And that was just uh, real special because it really was meant for her, like it's a special. I think it really fits the way she sings and the way she she hears this, this song in particular. So I think it's real special. I'm really, really happy about that. I really liked your take on the Pat Metheny song, Travels. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What gave you the idea to interpret that one? Basically, this record was made in 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 like over a period of time, like uh, I would say over two two years, basically. So there was the first session that was with the first group of people with Jet Tain Watts on drums, James Genius, Federico Gonzalez Pena on the keyboards and piano. A second session happened after that with the whole orchestra and instruments, and a third session was organized later on with basically my my live band, the band that plays with me live, which is Clarence Penn on drums, James Genius on bass, and Federico Gonzalez Peña on, on piano and keyboard. And I wanted to explore yet something a little bit different than what I've I've looked at before, that I've recorded before for this record. So and during this whole record I had kind of a a way of basically defining who I am and what I'm doing and what I'm feeling in music, looking also at what I've I've done in the past the kind of uh, a kind of collaboration i had i thought it was a natural a natural song to record in the sense that i've had the chance to play and record with the pat Metheny group and i would it would be a nice little tribute to them having had you know the, the the chance once again to 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 work with them we're talking to harmonica player gregoire Marais. what's in the future for you well, um, I still work a little bit as a sideman with different people, Cassandra Wilson and uh, different different people. But now I would like to be able to play more and more as a as a leader, you know. So I'm putting more focus and emphasis in, into that and making sure that, that we're gonna play uh, more and more with the with time. You know, it's just like the beginning since the record just came out. I'm hoping for the best. I'm really excited about the live band as well because it's it's just the music from the record but kind of that evolves every night and changes and just grow into something new every every night and it's a, it's a beautiful feeling. We've had the chance to do already two tours in Europe and quite a few shows in, in the States and it's going really, really well so it's quite an, an exciting adventure. What is the best thing about being Gregoire Marais? The best thing about being Grégoire is just the fact that I really had the chance, musically, I would say, to, is to, to play basically the Pat Metheny songs. I played them with him, you know, which was real special. When I played Tutu of, of, that was recorded first by Miles Davis, but was written by Marcus, I got to play it with Marcus Miller, which is real special. When I played Cantaloupe Island, I played it with Herbie. So it's just always those things that were just kind of real special because I, I grew up with those songs. You know, I, I remember the first time I started to really work on trying to play some jazz. As a teenager, I um, one of the songs that we did was with the ensemble was um, Maiden Voyage. And I remember the first time that I got to play with Herbie was precisely that song, Maiden Voyage. And it was so special because... Uh, I was just thinking back at the time where we were just playing that in high school. 
So it's just, you know, it's, it's just kind of was all those different moments in my life that were so special. And then now it's the also chance to be able to write some music and play it with the musician that I love and that I, uh, I admire and I, I really, uh, it's just real special to have a band and, 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 and having a situation where we can really play, not just one concert a year, but quite a few. My last question is very open-ended. What would you say to anyone listening in? I would say just to be, just to go with the, the flow, to travel with the music and let the music guide them where they, where it, it, it should get them, not having any prejudgment about the music, but just kind of go with what it's really taking them, you know. It's, I think it's a real, it's a real journey, this, this whole record, and that's what makes me real, I think it's real special because of that. That's, that's the invitation I would basically give to everybody. Thank you so much for this interview. It's been a pleasure to speak to you. Yeah, it's a pleasure. Likewise. I hope to see you performing in Atlanta soon. Yeah, I hope so too. Thank you so much. Thank you.